a YouTube tutorial. Um, I am going to be teaching you how to use an effective mask effect in Final Cut Pro. So let's get into it. All right, we have these two clips that I did for a gym, um, official strength and body. Um, if you're ever in Greensboro, North Carolina, you should go visit that um, gym. It's a great gym, great people. Um, but I'm gonna start off with this clip right here. And what we wanna do is when this breaks, we want to have an effect, a masking effect to just add a little spice to the video, I guess. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the second clip right here. We're gonna uh, hold Option and click on the video and just drag up. All right, the next step is to click on this little tool right here. While you're clicking on this clip, the top clip, and you're gonna to hold and stretch that out a bit and we're gonna command blade so we can cut off the green and you can delete this last clip right here we're gonna zoom in with our cursor and we're gonna drag this a bit like right here and we're gonna cut off where this clip overlaps right here so command B again to blade and then cut. Now, um, as you go through the timeline, you see that is there. Um, now we wanna start our masking effect. So go to the effects tab right here and we're gonna go down, we're gonna scroll down to mask we're going to add a draw mask to the top clip that's on a hold. And now we want to try to be as precise as we can with our draw mask. So let's just start masking. I'm going to fast forward this so you guys won't be bored with me masking, but just take your time and mask as precisely as you can. Okay, so now we have our mask cut out. Um, you see how there's a little bit of white over here? We can adjust that, take that out, adjust it as best as possible. And then we're gonna add our feather tool to eliminate some of that as well. So we can bring the feather down just a little bit about right there. And now let's play it back. Okay, that looks okay. But now we're gonna really add some detail to this mask and bring it to life. So now we're going to go to our transforms. And we're gonna add keyframes. There. And we are going to I'm going to bring this all the way outside of the clip. And so about halfway right here. And then with our position, we're going to put it back to zero on the X. Put it back to zero on the Y. And let's see how that looks. Okay, it looks pretty cool. Now we're gonna add, to make it look more effective, we're gonna add a motion blur. So let's go to the effects tab and click on blur right here. And we're gonna add a directional blur right here. So with that directional blur, I'm gonna scoot it up a little bit. With the directional blur, 
you're gonna make the arrow point up in the direction that it's going to give it a little cool effect I'm gonna add a keyframe as well boost that up a little bit and add a keyframe to about right here is when we're going to bring it down the motion blur down so there's a little gap right here that I want to get rid of so Let's scale this up. We're gonna scale this up to about right here, 112. And we can actually go to this footage right here and scale this up to 112 as well so it can be even. So now let's see how this looks. Let's go to full screen, fit. Cool. You can go in and make uh, the minor adjustments that you want to make. Um, like with this footage, I'm probably going to turn the blur up just a little bit more. And actually, I'm going to decrease the size of the hold clip to make it smaller and a faster effect. Hope you all enjoyed that one. Now let's move on to our next free plugin. For our next plugin, we have the quad split plugin and this plugin is free and it is in the description below. Um, so let's get into this plugin. All right, so we're gonna add, this, this is our first clip that we want. We're gonna add our plugin and just drop it on a clip and as you can see the plugin is already taking effect um, we're just gonna add a couple more clips to fill in these other three spaces so let's find our clips that we want drop zones on right here where you can select um, your clip that you want so let's take this one apply that Start it from the beginning and let's see how it goes. It takes a while to load up, but a really good effect. You can show a variety of clips all in one clip. And I really like this plugin because you can do it with corporate commercials, you can do it with music videos, you can do it with projects, you can do it with a lot of things. Um, this is a really good plugin and it is for free, so. Make sure you guys grab that. And you can also change the color, the fill color, if you want. Give it a little adjustment. Spice it up for the viewers. We can make it blue. The 
reason why it's coming up a bit blurry is because uh, everything hasn't loaded yet in the timeline, but um, I just wanted to present this to you guys as a as a plug-in, and I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, now let's move on to the next one. And this is the 3D skull transition. So we're gonna apply it to this clip right here. It's kind of like a Halloween theme music video. And we're just gonna add it right in between this blade right here. So we're gonna go to our transitions right here. And we're gonna apply it. Scale it down a little bit about right here that looks good right there it's a nice 3d school transition this is such a great transition um just because it's a 3d transition and it's also animating when it's coming out at you so you guys go grab that i hope you enjoyed all the plugins for today and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel because we will be dropping a lot of content. So thank you guys.